Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel today, and I hope you're having a great day. So today's video is going to be simple, all right? We're talking about muscle pumps. Yeah, you know, pumps, baby. Getting that getting that vascularity in, looking jet, looking like Arnold. You know, you gotta... Let me calm down, you know. Spitting a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. Just get a little too pumped. Anyways, you know, today's video is going to be about how to increase pumps in the gym. All right, now, before I get started, disclosure. In order to really increase your vascularity, guys, you gotta lower your body fat percentage. So if you wanna turn away from the video now, go ahead. No, I was just playing. You better watch the whole video through. Hit that like button, you feel what I'm saying? Anyways, these are some hacks that can help you increase your pumps in the gym and have helped me that I've learned from other people that have actually worked. All right, one, increase carbohydrate intake pre-workout. Now this can be in the form of actually eating some uh, complex carbs or actually carbohydrate powder. I prefer the powder before a workout. Um, one stack that it really helps me um, is I do a scoop of big noise with a scoop of cluster bomb, which is a fast digestion carbohydrate powder, mainly dextrose. And I'm set to go for a workout, uh, especially if it's a high volume day, pumps are insane, muscles are just swollen. Man, I'm feeling like an IFB pro, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. So, Carbs are good for energy for the body, y'all. They're a good energy source to help glucose and blood sugar, help keep the insulin in check, and help glycogen store just too as well. So keep that in mind. Carbs are your friend. Two, potassium. Potassium is so underutilized uh, mineral you can get for cheap at any supplement store. Potassium is a great muscle contractor and it helps nerve impulses in the muscle. You increase your potassium intake, it can help also the vascularity of pumps in the gym. And then finally, third is sodium. Sodium intake in people's diets nowadays, it, 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 in extreme cases, it's high. And in other cases, it's, it's minimal to none. I used to be one of the minimal to none people, and I never understood the significance of sodium in healthy ways um, in your diet. So, you know, uh, I usually do, and this is a shout out to Joe, Joe DeFranco. If you guys don't know who Coach Joe is, please, please check out Coach Joe. I'll put his link for his uh, channel in my description. Amazing, world-renowned strength coach. Um, I got a tip from him. Put a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt either in your pre-workout, pre, -workout, pre uh, before your workout, or put in a 16 ounce water bottle and drink it during your workout. I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. Um, you're gonna uh, be vascular uh, due to the fact that the muscle contraction and, nerve, and the nerve impulse is being lit up by having sodium in there. Um, to avoid cramping in the muscles as well. Plus, you're gonna be sweating. This will replace the electrolytes and the sweat that you're, that you're losing um, through that method too, all right? So if you guys like these uh, short little tips, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Hit the alert button for all the notifications so you can have more and more great videos and see this beautiful face. Have a wonderful day, guys.